I'm gonna give you three key exercises that you can use to increase your speed, and we are gonna start right now. What's up everybody, I'm Dane Miller from GarageStrike.com, and if this is your first time to the channel and you are interested in sports performance, you wanna know how can you get stronger, how can you get more explosive, how can you be a better athlete, Make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and comment down below with whatever sport you're training for. So throughout the last decade, we've dealt with a ton of Division I football players, a ton of Division I lacrosse players, a whole bunch of athletes that have gone to the Olympics, that have gone to the NCAA championships, that have become All-Americans, that have been state champions in the state of Pennsylvania. And a lot of these athletes have to incorporate speed training into their training. They've got to be fast. They've got to react rapidly. And so what we've done is we've utilized three key warmups to potentiate their nervous system, to wake up the crucial joints that they need to be limber so that their speed is as optimal as possible. Something we've got to remember when we're talking about speed is that to warm up properly for speed, ideally, it's gonna be a little bit more ballistic. It's gonna be a little bit more dynamic. It's not gonna be a static stretch per se. Maybe early on in the warmups, we might use a couple static stretches, but as we start to really get closer to that training session, we've gotta be a little bit more ballistic with our movements to really get these joints as limber as possible. One of our favorite exercises that we like to use is the Spider-Man with T-spine rotation. I think this is one of the best stretches that you can do in general as an athlete. We like to do three sets to each side, about five to six movements to each side to really open up that upper back, to try and feel that dynamic trunk stability, to try and feel those hips loosening up and to feel more elastic. We've got to remember that when we're running, we, we don't want to be super tight. We don't want to be really bound from a muscular perspective. We need to be fluid. We need to be dynamic. And this is one of the best exercises to start off your speed-based training. That second exercise is going to be leg swings. And we like to do side-to-side -side leg swings and front and back leg swings. And you will be hard-pressed to go to a track meet, to, to go to the 40 at the, at the NFL Combine and not see every single athlete doing leg swings. Everyone does leg swings who wants to be fast. Everybody who is fast does leg swings. It's gonna help you lengthen that hamstring to be more elastic. It's gonna help you open up your glutes and your hips and it's going to lead to an improvement in your speed. We do three sets for 10 reps on each side. One of the last things that we use as we're preparing for a good, strong speed workout is the hurdle walkover series. We like to go forward. We like to go backward to increase proprioception. We like to go over or go under and try and really open up the hips, increase mobility in that lower back, try to feel a little bit more limber in every single joint. And then we finish off that hurdle walkover series with high skips from the side of the hurdles. The skips will help us potentiate our nervous system and start to feel a little bit more wiry and to be a little bit more explosive. And that is going to drastically improve our speed. We like to do two to three sets in every single exercise with those hurdle walkovers. Finish with three different passes on the side skips on the hurdles and you're gonna feel like a machine. So we utilize all these exercises inside our how to get faster training program and our agile and hostile training program both of which are linked down below. You can click on that link, head over to garagestrength.com. If you want more information to help you continue to increase your speed and become more agile, check out this video right here. Peace.